Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hack My Growth. Today we're going to be learning how to Google like an SEO pro. Uh, we're going to learn how to leverage search engine operators to restrict the results and get exactly what it is we're looking for. So why should we use search engine operators? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One main reason is prospecting for links. When we're prospecting to find new links online, search engine operators really help us find those sites that make sense and are contextual to what we're trying to achieve and accomplish. Another great use is for researching content. When we want to find um, sites that maybe we can link out to or other tips and ideas for our content, search engine operators can help us find those better pieces of content that make a little bit more sense. Uh, so thanks to search engine operators, we can narrow down the results and get more of what we're really looking for. So what is a search engine operator? Well, Google search engine operators are special characters and commands that extend the capabilities of regular text search. So they are useful from everything like I talked about, from content research to technical SEO audits. Now this exact definition comes from our friends over at Moz, which if you follow anything in the SEO world, you're probably aware of. So there's two basic types of search operators. There are basic search operators, and these are ones that modify standard text searches. And then we also have advanced search operators, which are typically used to narrow down searches and drill deeper into the search results. So let's take a look at how these actually work and uh, see how they really restrict our results. So these are not all of the basic search operators, but these are the ones that you may actually find helpful. Now, the first one's pretty self-explanatory. When you put quotes around a specific keyword, it's forcing Google to use an exact match on that keyword, and it prevents any synonyms showing up if you're using a single word. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So we're gonna use the example we had here, SEO help, using our quotations. Now this is gonna force Google to look for results that are very specific to this word, that have this word, you know, SEO help, right there, number one, SEO help, SEO help, uh, help SEO, SEO help in here, SEO help. As you can see, it's forcing and restricting the search for this exact match. The next one we're gonna look at is OR. Now there's two ways to do OR. You can either do a capital OR, or you can use the pipe. It's identical in both ways. This is going to force Google to search um, for a, a logical or so good or evil right so there's two different ways we can achieve this and let's take a look at that you can type good or evil you're seeing evil you're saying good you're seeing evil you're seeing the two different results it's not and evil so it's not going to show us both good and evil it's going to show us one or the other we can also restrict this the exact same way by using a pipe as you can see, the exact same results are showing up. So this is a really good way if you want to find compare and contrast. You want to find articles about one thing as well as the other. That way you can do a compare and contrast article. Um, it's a really quick way to constrict the search results into exactly what you're looking for. The next one is the minus sign. Now we've put this in front of the term that we're, that we're using um, to exclude that term from the results. So if I wanted to look for hack my, but not anything that involved the word growth, I would put minus and it would actually subtract anything that had growth in it and only show uh, hack my and then whatever after. So let's take a look at that one. There you go, hack my minus growth, hack my life, hack my life, hack my life, hack my life, hack my age, hack my life, hack my study. You can see it's not like we might have shown up for that, if, but if we did hack my growth, then we're actually going to show up, right? <laughs> so as you can see, adding that minus sign is going to subtract that from the results and really narrow our results to get what we're really looking for. And that covers our basic search operators. The next type are the advanced search operators. Now these are going to be very more targeted. These are definitely something that we use a lot when we go into link building. Um, so we've got a couple versions. We have in title, in URL, in text, file type, and related. Again, these aren't all of them, but these are the ones that you might use the most. Um, so when you use entitle, it is exactly what you think it is. It, it searches only for the, uh, the terms that are within that specific page title. So using exact match quotes, right? Um, in URL, this is again looking for words or phrases in quotes in a document. So right here, it's only like a year. So you can like knock this down to just the year 2016. But if you had multiple terms, you again would want to use quotes. 
um, in text. This is going to be searching for words or phrases that appear in the body of the document. The file types, now you can search for a specific type of file. Now, this would be like a PDF, a doc, um, a Word file, uh, an Excel file, right, or a TXT, something of like that nature. You could actually add that file type and it would narrow those results and relate it. Now, this usually only works for larger domains, so uh, if my domain doesn't work, we'll try something else. But as you can see, this helps us return related sites to the one you're looking at. Again, very helpful for both content and link research. So let's take a look at how these work. First off, we're going to look at in title. All right, so the first one we're going to do is in title. So we want to make sure that this quotation is right. Okay, yeah. Um, and then we want to hit search. Now, this is going to restrict everything in these research results have to have SEO versus content in the title. If they don't, we're not going to see it. So you can see every one of the articles that we're pulling up has SEO in the title. And that's a quick way to restrict your results. Uh, in title is a very popular one, easy one, because usually the title is very descriptive of what that page is actually about. So this is very good when you're really trying to restrict your results and find pages that are really relevant really quickly. Let's look at the next type. The next type is very similar, but instead of in title, we're going to be looking at the URL. So the exact URL string. Uh, and, and this means that the term we're looking for or the, the, the time or the date we're looking for is within the URL. Let's take a look at this one. So let's say I wanted to find some growth hacking tips from the year 2016. I would type growth hacking tips and then I would go in URL 2016. That would hopefully restrict something down to 2016. As you notice here in the in URL 2016. Uh, all of these URLs come from 2016. Again, a quick way to find a date or an article within a specific time range. So again, uh, another very helpful way to, to find very targeted content, specific content. Instead of maybe using the settings tool, you can go up here and just say, I just want to know something for this year. What's the, what's the most relevant article of this specific year on the term of tar uh, growth hacking? So in text, again, we're kind of following the same theme. We're going to be using the quotation marks to see converting leads into sales. And it has to appear inside the text of a specific piece of content that we're looking for. So let's take a look at what this is going to look like. Again, we're going to take our, our quotes here and make sure that we have the brackets right, converting leads into sales, and then we're going to search. Now, every piece of content in here is going to actually have this converting leads into sales. You can see it here in the meta description on some of these pages, some of the pages here, because they're pulling meta straight there. But all of these are being highlighted, converting leads into sales, converting leads into sales, converting leads into sales. Again, another great way to find targeted information. Uh, what else is helpful, you notice, hey, even with the search operator, we're still getting uh, a rich snippet or part of the knowledge graph showing up here. So again, when you're doing content marketing research, you want to know that, hey, I can use this term and it could really help me. Uh, maybe even possibly find a way into one of these valuable position zero spots, the advanced search features here that Google has. All right, let's take a look at the next one. File type, this is helpful if you're looking maybe for a PDF or some kind of author document, and uh, we want to um, see if we can't find a specific piece of content around uh, a type or file type. So in this case, we're going to restrict it to PDF. So let's see what we get. So here I'm looking for a link building ebook, and I want it to be a PDF. And as you can see, what Google's done is now showing me only PDFs. Here's a link to a PDF, a link to a PDF, but most of these search results are all PDFs. Um, very, very helpful when you're looking for maybe a specific file type piece of content. Okay, and let's check out the last one. So the last advanced search operator is related. And again, this is helping us find related sites uh, to the specific domain that we are asking it to look for. So let's take a look at what this is going to turn. Again, we'll just type our search operator just like this. You don't want any spaces. You want it all connected and hit search. So what this is doing, it's saying, okay, Shelby Media Arts, uh, the most related site to me is HubSpot. Makes a lot of sense. We're an inbound marketing agency. That's what we do. We've got a lot of other inbound agencies here. They're all related. So if you want to find a site, maybe that's in your uh, area or related to your, your 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 agency or your business this is a great way to do so again your site needs to be big enough have enough content index and Google's got to know enough about your site for that to actually work but again it's very helpful for finding sites that are relative and related to yours as you can see using search engine operators you can restrict searches 
to find content that you're looking for. This is again very helpful when it comes to link building, creating content, researching, make sure you're if you're finding the types of partners you want to build links with, as well as making sure that your content is rich uh, and researched properly. If you've got any questions on search engine operators, please let us know. Comment on the video below, comment on this post, and we would love to continue the conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing. Thank you.